Hey, what's up? Chris Crone here, and uh, I am sitting in probably one of my favorite cars I've ever had in the past, uh, and it's because today I'm making a video answering a very popular question from you, which is, how do I actually know when it's time for me to buy a new car? And uh, I'm gonna be answering that a couple of different ways. I can certainly show you how to make it happen sooner or to take the more conservative route, but regardless, at the end of the video as a bonus, I wanna share with you how you can drive something like this really soon and have someone else entirely pay for it. So if you'd like to drive the car of your dreams and have someone else pay for it, stay on through the end of the video and I'll show you that too. Cause we're gonna be legends. What we're doing here ain't just scary. It's about to be legendary. So today I'm going to be talking about cars. You know, frankly, a lot of you wanna know when do you give yourself permission? When is it time to actually allow yourself to buy a nice new car? And I've got a couple of strong feelings on this. That's why I'm making a video about it. By the way, this is my BMW i8, probably one of the most fun cars I've ever had before. What I love about it is that it's convertible and yet it's all electric sports or there's an engine in the back that I can turbo and freaking go fast. I either drive it like a grandpa or I drive it very irresponsibly. Not very often. I like going fast, and so it's a, it's a fantastic car. It's also kind of sexy. I, I, I like it. Just, uh, it's innovative, it's a concept car, it's fun, but I don't pay for this car. And I wanna share with you at the end of this video why I don't pay for this car and how you can have a nice car way beyond your years of when you should be able to afford it. But, but first, let me just kinda of share this principle with you. When you're getting started on the game of investing, I think it's really important that you're really careful how you spend your money. A lot of people um, don't know anymore how to delay gratification. Parkins Law says that we spend plus or minus 10% of what we earn. The younger generation now, they wanna have the nice car, the nice house, they want it all now. Not realizing that if you fast forward 20 years, those things are gonna create such a debt burden and also more importantly, they keep you from having discretional money to invest. My first four, five years of investing, I didn't own a single lavish anything. But after five years, I was able to move into a multi-million dollar house. So how did I do it? Well, I wanna share with you some advice that I got from one of my mentors, my first mentor. I remember one day driving over to his house because he was gonna help me with my very first property that I was gonna buy. And uh, his name's John. And when I pulled up, I was like, I got excited. He had this brand new truck. It was like the biggest dually cabby, eight wheel on the back, crazy thing you've ever seen. And it was towing a brand new monster boat. And I said, dude, John, that's awesome. He's like, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm like, wow, how'd you get that? And he's like, oh, it's just, it's just paid for. I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? What do you mean it's paid for? And he says, well, Chris, I don't buy nice things unless I have assets that pay for them. What do you mean? He says, see that boat? That boat is $600 a month, but I'm not paying it. Look at this house. I just did this deal right here. And guess what the cash flow is? $600 a month. So he said, Chris, when I want something nice, I buy an asset that appreciates, goes up in value, and kicks off a cash flow to pay for the nicer things in life. And that is when I learned a lesson that was so meaningful to me. Every time I've gotten a chunk of money, and in the beginning, it was hard to get that first chunk, but when I got that chunk of money, I could have always splurged it on something nice, but I never could allow myself. I would buy an investment, and I'd allow the investment to pay for my lifestyle. Every home that I've lived in has been paid for. This car, is paid for. My investments are supporting my lifestyle, my livelihood, and the way that I wanna live. So you have two choices. Either you don't learn to invest, you better be a penny pincher and remain super frugal, and hence, in time, you'll know when to get a new car, and it won't be for a long time, because you should buy a beater, you should buy an old car, you should run it into the ground. When the expenses get too much, you should sell it and get another used, more reliable car. That's what Dave Ramsey would say, and frankly, if you don't have a plan to invest, I would agree with him. But if you say, wait a second, Chris, if you're telling me I can have that or a nice house or start world travel or start having the nicer things in life by becoming an expert investor, then I want that path. It is faster, but it is the road less traveled because you know what? It's just easier not to. And unfortunately, we live in a world today where people are way more into ease than anything else. The reality is I do not need this nice car for me to be happy and feel good. But I do like that because I'm so good at making money that I have options in life. I have this money to give to charity. Like I'm putting on a $100,000 event for free. And I'm doing that 
out of a spirit of, of love and frankly because I can because of the success that I've been able to have in my life. And it all came about because I learned the game of investing. Now, by the way, when should you get a new car? Now you have two options. One is probably likely in many, many years and one is it could be sooner than you think. And if you want it to be the latter, then you have to learn how to invest. Click the link below, get with me and my team, and I'll show you how to buy a house and make a $500 a month cash flow. You buy two of those houses, now you have a $1,000 a month budget for you to drive a nice car. Or you could reinvest it for the first five years, which is ultimately what I would do if I were you. The next five years, make it your five years to get ahead. Make it your five years to delay gratification. Make it five years to say, I went through a period of my time where I was disciplined with money. I put it into my investments. And now my investments are all coming back and I can live the lifestyle that I want. Friends, that is the secret to how you live and drive the car of your dreams on your terms. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you subscribe and I look forward to catching you on tomorrow's video.